Hi guys, it's me. So I'm coming on to <laughs> try to explain um, for a wonderful, lovely subscriber of mine. She asked me if I could show or tell her how to do the cards that I made in my last video um, from the dies that I received um, by Nicole. So I, instead of trying to explain it, I told her I would do a video. So I'm gonna do the one um, we'll do this one first, okay? So you take the biggest one, and there's a couple ways you can do it. Now, for me, I like to use the, the pre-cut cards, I guess. You can get at Michael's, Joann's, um, and they come in this size or in an even bigger size. So all you it's scored here in the middle for you. All you do is fold it over, and then you, you, know, you take your thing. I had to put my big shot here because it's the only place I could fit it. And then you take this down. So you can do it this way or, and I'll do both. So let's do this one first and then I'll show you another way you can do it. So let me move this. Okay, so this is what, what you're gonna do. I hope you guys can see this, I have no idea. So you put the, the card, it opens this way, right? So you're gonna put your, your card on the base, okay? And then you're gonna take your die and face it down, all right? You're gonna line it up so that it's, you know, it can cut out the design. Now, instead of just putting it on the paper and cutting it, you're gonna make sure that this side right here, and you see where this line is that, that's gonna cut it, you're gonna make sure that's hanging over the paper. If it's on the paper, it's gonna cut it. If it's over the paper, it won't cut it, and I'm gonna show you what I mean. So, um, now, if it's gonna move around and you're gonna get nervous, you can always put washi tape on it. So you put your plate on carefully, and then you just run it through your die machine. And I'm sorry that the camera is probably going all over the place. I don't normally keep it on my table. I put it on a different one, but here, let me show you. Ah, sorry, I'm so not used to doing it this way. <laughs> I'm all backwards and discombobulated. Okay, so see? So this is how it comes out. So you take, this falls off, and then you're going, actually, you know what, let me show you. So you see how this part didn't cut? Now, if you want a bigger seam, then you just hang it off even more. Do you understand what I'm saying? So when you take it out, okay, this is your card. So you open it up, and voila. Now this is what I was talking about. If you want this a little longer, like you don't want this part cut out, then again, you take, when you put it on the paper, just let it hang off of the, the page a little bit more. So basically, if you want, say you want that whole one side, right? You can do it that way too. So this whole thing would be closed and then, you know, that would be your thing. But I don't like the whole thing. I like having it just this little one. Okay, so you can do it that way. So that's for the, if you open it this way. Now I'm gonna show you how to do it the other way when you open it upwards. So I'm gonna use this one again. You're just gonna fold it, okay? You're gonna bring your, your thing back, okay? And then you're gonna do it this way. So now you want the top, oh wait, can I do it with this one? I don't even know if I can. No, I have to get a different piece of paper. <laughs> Scratch that, hold on. Um, Okay, so this is where this comes in. So you take in a, I don't know what size this is. This is like 11, nine by 11, I think. So you're gonna take that. Oh, this is one piece because it's a 110 pound. <laughs> you're just gonna do the same thing. You're just gonna take it. Actually, wait a minute. Can you, yes, okay. So you're gonna take it and you're gonna fold it, okay? So you have your, your thing and it'll fit in where your plate is. Now you can do it the same way. You can, you know, do it this way and hang it off the side so that it'll open this way. Or you can take it and do it this way so you have the open from, you know, up and down instead of side to side. So that's how we're gonna do it with this. Now the pre pre made cards like this don't work because it's too small. Like, see, if I did it this way so I can have, you know, so it, the fold is there, it won't work. It's too too um too small so here is about where i want the fold okay so then same exact thing you just put it in 
carefully so that doesn't move. And then you're gonna run it. Ah, wait a minute. <laughs> Shoot. Sorry guys, I screwed it up. All right, so again, now it's gonna depend on how much you want your hoozy water, but so this is where I want it, okay? So now let's run it through and see what we get. <laughs> this is not easy on some days, but you do what you gotta do when you're a crafter. Okay, so now here we go. We break away this. Then we take, well here, let me show you. So again, so here's where I left it off so it wouldn't cut through the paper, okay? And then you take this off and then you have your card that opens this way. So you have this way, and now you have this way. I am so sorry, guys. I really stink at tutorials. I don't do them well whatsoever. But basically, this is how you make your cards that are in shape. So then you can take, I'll put this back so I don't lose it, because God knows I do that easily. Um, now, if you want to do, um, you know, a layer like I did with the girls, then you just take the next size down, you run it through, you, you know, your printed paper or whatever, and then you can just glue it on or tape it on, and then that's your pretty front. But this is how you do the cards. Now, if you wanted to take another die and say you wanted to do this one, then again, you take your biggest die, the biggest one, because, you know, if you want a card, you don't want a, a um, whatchamacallit. Now again, unless you have the bigger card, which I do, so you know what, let me, hold on, let me grab one of them because I really think this is probably the easiest way to do it, but you can always do it with your own card stock and all you have to do is fold it like I showed you. But let me get, okay, so there, the two sizes that I know of that come pre-made are this one and this one and I believe this is the standard one and then this is the the bigger one so we're going to use this one because I the it won't fit on that but it I don't know will this even fit well it might we're gonna give it a shot <laughs> I don't know we're gonna learn together <laughs> you may have to the bigger dies you just may have to do with folded paper but I don't know this this may work so I don't think it'll work as a top well maybe actually it would would probably work better as a top fold so we'll do a top fold um but the only prop nah you know what guys we're gonna do it this way only because um i think it'll work out a little bit better so i'm gonna hang this off just a little bit more so again it's just really lining it up making sure that that cut edge is not on the paper if it's on the paper it's gonna cut it and then you screw up your whole thing. Um, and then you really can't use it as a card after that one. I mean, you can use it as a, oh. <laughs> and that's very normal, by the way. <laughs> All right, so you take this out, this falls away, and then boom, this didn't work, did it? Oh yeah, did it? Guys, oh my God, I can't even believe it. Not only did it work, look, it made the, the line but I also got the stitch. That will never happen again in my lifetime. That was just stroke of luck. <laughs> oh my God. So then again, so then you do the next thing. If you wanna do like a, um, a printed piece on top of it, then you just take the next size down. And if you wanna just keep layering it, then you keep doing the size down from that and then the size down from that. So I hope this was helpful. Um, I honestly, this was not my invention, that's for sure. I've seen it done so many times on YouTube. So many women have um, videos out about this. So I, I wish I could tell you who they all are, but unfortunately I do not know. But the credit goes to them, definitely not me. <laughs> but you can do it mainly with all the dies that have like a straight edge for the most part. You can make the card bases very easily. I have a very, very hard time. Um, let me try to get you one to show you. I'm sure you can do it like with, with this, but this might be better doing it as like a, an upfold because there's just so many little squiggly lines. I don't know. When I try it, I'll come back and let you know. But when you start, try to do it with the more straight edged ones because it's a lot easier. So if you have any questions, and I mean that, any questions whatsoever, please let me know. I would be happy to help you out. 
Um, I hope this was helpful. Um, again, you know, if you if you need to stop, rewind, pause, whatever, you can do it like I showed you this way, up and down, or you can do it this way, which is, sorry, side to side. And then we got super lucky and got the stitched all the way around. Like I said, I will never be able to do that again, ever. <laughs> that was just pure luck. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. I hope this was helpful. Um, I hope... I kind of answered some of your questions and yeah so again let me know if there's anything else you guys want to see I I am willing to at least give it a shot and show you <laughs> if not then you know I don't know but I like I will always try for you guys always so have a great day and again let me know what you guys think in the video I mean in the comments of the video and um, let me know if I answered your questions and you understood it or if you want me to do it a little differently just tell me. I would be happy to do anything you guys need, okay? I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!